Hey, I'm Kev and welcome to the Bad Girls All-Star Battle 2 recaps and I am sorry I started late but I was not gonna do the recap but I just really have so much to say about this. I'm a huge fan of this kind of um, epic shows where they do challenges and stuff like that. I'm a huge fan of the challenge and I, I just really wanted to do a video for the All-Star Battle. So episode one, the girls get into the house and I don't know, I think I'm going to do a little video of what I think about the girls, so I, yeah. So they get into the house and um, they're sizing them up, we have Camilla, we have um, Stephanie, we have Janelle, and at this point I'm like, how are the teams are going to be made? And I think I have an idea, but I'm not going to tell you guys. So all the girls get into the, into the house and then here comes Ray J and the teams were not formed so they are going to the captain's challenge right away but at this point Valentina is kind of smelling something fishy from Amy Camilla and and Danny and she's like you know and when Danny came over Danny is um Valentina is like I know um like Danny strikes me as kind of like sneaky and I would have said the same thing but so these three girls, Valentina was right. They have this alliance now because they were on Las Vegas and they were on Love Games. So why not work with them? So yeah. Anyways, um, before that happened, when Rocky came into the house, my baby Rocky, my boo Rocky, I freaking love Rocky. I want her to win. Everybody was scared and I enjoyed their faces when Rocky was just came in and Rocky was like I'm bigger, I'm faster, I'm better, I'm nicer, I'm better than y'all and I just I am ready for Rocky to win. Anyways, whoa. So we get to the captain's challenge and I have seen this before where I saw this in a challenge in the real world world rules challenge somewhere because they've done this like a whole bunch of times so basically there's mud there's balls and there's like 16 girls so there's a certain number of of um of balls and a certain number and less there's more girls and less balls so whoever doesn't get a ball is eliminated and every time they're gonna the number of balls are gonna be um, shortened so until there's two and the two top standing girls are gonna be the team captains and they're gonna choose who are gonna be in the in their team. So first of all, I'm like uh, something tells me Andrea, Camilla, Rocky and Shelly and Tiana are gonna do good. And then we have big surprises. And um, Janelle is like, like jumping. Well, uh, like I don't know. It was just funny. Like, j like Janelle versus Shelly. Like this little tiny girl versus the big, 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 huge girl. I'm like, are you serious? Um, the one of the first, the first one to get a ball was Valentina, and then we got Alicia. Oh, Alicia! I knew Alicia was gonna get uh, a ball. Um, but these girls are going at it. Um, first eliminated i think was sarah megan danny so basically we get to the end and it's just um stephanie made a big 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 huge move and it's just so funny because she grabs the ball she is so freaking tiny she is so freaking tiny you can just see her little legs running with the ball and she's like when i did that i just felt like the baddest girl on earth and I just gotta add, these bad girls are killing it, killing it, killing it on the mud. You saw Janelle, you saw Amy, Shelly, they were like really killing it for these balls. And I really enjoyed it because like I feel like this season actually has more competitiveness. There's girls that are stronger, I feel, I feel like first the only strong girls were like Natalie, Flo and Jen and you can actually and Rocky and Shannon but was they left in the first episode so then we have Flo, Jen and and, non, and Natalie so I think yeah I think this this group of girls are gonna work up their shit and I think Nancy is a pretty surprise because I really thought she was gonna be a weaker 
but she I actually confused her with Tiana when she was battling with I don't know who was it for the ball and I was like whoa is that Tiana no it was actually Nancy so Nancy is actually taller than I think she is and uh, she's actually more athletic than I thought she was so kudos for Nancy um, I'm having an open mind about these girls because some of them I just did not like in their season so yeah so at the end we had um, Rocky, Camilla, um, who else? Let me see. So it's the last round. At this point I'm watching it with a friend. Um, her name is Titel and I'm like how much you want to bet it's going to be Camilla, Alicia or Rocky in the final three and the final two. And I'm like Camilla, 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 I'm sorry because I don't want to get her name wrong, Camilla and um, and Rocky are gonna be the, the, the two that are gonna get it. And said and done, they killed the competition. It was two balls and it was a whole bunch of girls. And I don't know how Stephanie, but Stephanie is, is still in the last, um, and still in the last round. And well, the first one, everybody kind of went towards the one ball to the one in the left and the right, I don't know. But they were, and Camilla was left along with the ball and then Rocky was in the back. And I'm, I was really, really surprised of how Rocky did not um, want to try like to like get the ball from Camilla maybe she thought she was gonna size him up I don't know but she goes into the crowd she grabs the ball and she does it again second year in a row I'm like go Rocky we I was like I knew this was gonna happen so Camilla is in in the team captain of the goal team and Rocky is the team captain of the red team and the choosing goes like this Camilla chooses Danny as first pick, then Valentina, Amy, Megan, Nancy, and Janelle. Rocky goes with Andrea, Paula, Shelly, Tiana, Stephanie, Sarah, and um, Elise. And I gotta say, I really want, I, I really wanted to see Amy, and I was like, Amy was going hard with this girl. She was pushing, she was like shoving, she was elbowing. She is going to do everything it takes, and she's a little feisty little fierce girl that i want to see in more competitions like this so yes then um we go right to the um uh, team's challenge and in the team's challenge there's basically a wall and the bad girls are gonna be against the wall and they're gonna be pushing each other um, against their backs and they're gonna be pushing each other towards the end and whoever falls whatever whatever team falls it, it goes straight to like kind of dirty water so at this point um, the teams they do not look even Rocky was smart enough to get like bigger and kind of stronger girls because like Nancy looks athletic mm, not really she's too short Valentina looks Looks like she has abilities, but mm, I don't know. But yeah, right now I feel like Andrea, Tiana, um, Shelly, and Rocky can make a really, really good team because I, I don't know. I think Tiana's it's tall. I don't know. So at this point, and Nancy, I, you know what? I did not really like Nancy in her season, but Nancy right now I'm really enjoying her commentary. And she's like, like her voice, her accent. She's like, are you serious? Look at. Rocky got all the big bitches, but her accent just may, makes it really, like, funny, like, I don't know. So at this point, I'm like, they have it in the back, Rocky's team has it, and said and done, and this team's challenge was really fast, so right away, they have the first win, the red team has the first win, and they don't have to worry about going, sending anybody home, and they, ha they get to go to the club. So now at this point, the gold team has to eliminate somebody and Camilla, Danny, and Amy, they have uh, their stuff, they, their strategy already done, but, but and uh, they were gonna choose Alicia because Alicia, when they lost, she was like smiling and laughing and I was like, you are supposed to be sad and I totally agree with Alicia, with Alicia, with uh, Camila. All the other girls in the team who are, um, who is a, who is Megan, Nancy, Janelle, um, Valentina, and and Alicia, they kind of go together. And plus, we have three from the same season. Janelle and Megan know each other, so they're gonna go. They 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 are like, no, we're gonna separate these three alliance because we don't want this in our team. 
So all the girls and Danny and Amy, because Camila was saved for up uh, for elimination, and Rocky was not really happy about um, them sending Danny home. Well, up for elimination. So at this point, now the two girls up for elimination are trying to do whatever it takes for them to stay in the competition. And actually, Amy um, is like, you know what? I'm gonna throw challenges. I will stab these bitches in the back if you don't set me home. And Danny still like, do I? Uh, I am an asset to you guys. Why? Because I played this game before. I made it to top three, so I know how to play this game and this and that. So we got to elimination and the girls are just, they don't know who are they going to vote for in the red team. So at this point, I, I really don't know who, okay, me as a viewer, easy, I want Amy to stay. But if it was in that competition, I feel like I would have picked Danny to stay because, I mean, she doesn't do nothing. She can... Like, she doesn't do nothing, and Amy is a fierce competitor, you can see she's a fierce competitor, and I think that, I think I would have voted for uh, Amy to go home, but me as a, a as a, a um, viewer, I was like, no, but I don't want Amy to go home because I want to see more of her in the competition, I want to see what else she can bring to the table. So at the end, the girls vote for Danny to go home, and at this point, I'm like, yay! Amy doesn't go home and I want to see what she's capable of we already saw Danny and what she can do and she can do shit in the first season so at this point um, let's see what's gonna happen in the next next week um, and yeah I'm really enjoying this season I think there's a lot of girls who are strong and some girls that we think that are weak but are Gaining and gaining their strong and I don't know I think this is gonna be a great season so stay tuned keep watching bye bye see you later alligators.